Resveratrol may protect the body from metabolic diseases such as obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and fatty liver disease. It can also help reduce inflammation, the effects of which extend to the brain, thereby improving cognitive performance. Today, we'll learn where resveratrol is found, how it benefits human health, and how to take it as a supplement. Hi, I'm Johanna Kuli, journalist, researcher, and health consultant. Resveratrol is a natural molecule found mainly in the skin of red grapes and in the root of Fallopia japonica, a herbaceous plant native to East Asia in Japan, China, and Korea. The main function of resveratrol in these plants is to protect them from fungal attack and the damaging effects of ultraviolet radiation. But it was not until 1992 that it was determined that resveratrol could have cardioprotective effects and that it can achieve these effects through its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Resveratrol also has the ability to activate a type of enzyme called sirtuin-1, which appears to play an important role in slowing the aging process and in longevity. Sirtuins have typically been shown to be activated by caloric restriction and physical activity. Other sirtuin activators, such as turmeric and, of course, resveratrol, are at present being studied extensively. But let's take a look at the direct effects of resveratrol and its benefits at by slowing down the aging process. In cases of obesity and overweight, for example, an experiment carried out on 11 obese people who were given a daily dose of 150 mg of resveratrol for 30 days showed caloric restriction-like effects, meaning as if they had been on a diet. This was further evidenced by improved blood pressure, improved glucose, insulin, and triglyceride concirculation. In another study, patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease were given up to 300 and 500 milligrams of resveratrol a day for three months, and they showed a decrease in LDL, or bad cholesterol levels, a reduction in inflammatory markers and increased insulin sensitivity. Due to its anti-inflammatory properties, resveratrol has been shown to reduce neuronal inflammation by inhibiting pro-inflammatory molecules and mitigating reactive oxygen species that are characteristic of Alzheimer's disease. For cancer prevention, two studies in which individuals were given doses of 1 to 2.5 grams of resveratrol resulted in a decrease of insulin growth factor 1, a hormone produced in the liver, which is associated with tumor formation and metastasis. Resveratrol treatment also increased a variety of cancer detoxifying enzymes. Resveratrol appears to work as an adaptogen to enhance athletic performance. In certain experiments conducted, people over 65 years of age benefited, while young adults didn't show significant changes. It should be noted that the experiment conducted with young people used a resveratrol concentration of 150 mg, while the studies with older adults' concentrations of up to 500 mg were used. Results in older adults showed improved blood pressure, better to optimal cholesterol levels, increased maximal oxygen consumption, mitochondrial and muscle fiber density. Now, let's look at how resveratrol can have an anti-aging effect. Caloric restriction has been shown to increase longevity in many species. This is achieved through sirtuins, which are proteins that promote longevity. Resveratrol, on the other hand, is an activator of sirtuin-1 and thus has effects that will mimic caloric restriction. Three mechanisms are involved in resveratrol's anti-aging effect. Number one, by activating sirtuins. Resveratrol binds to sirtuins, improving their affinity to the coenzyme NAD+, or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, and its protein substrates thereby increasing sirtuin activity. 
Number two, by activating autophagy. Autophagy is an organic mechanism that is activated under cellular stress to remove unnecessary or dysfunctional parts of cells, as well as to mobilize energy reserves of the body. Caloric restriction stimulates autophagy through activation of sirtuin-1. Resveratrol induces autophagy by activating sirtuins, but also by blocking the activity of mTOR, which is a protein present in mammalian cells whose functions include promoting anabolic metabolism and inhibiting autophagy. Number three, by activating xenohormesis. Humankind has developed the ability to consume a wide variety of plants. Plants, both in their development and under stressful conditions, such as being attacked by pathogens and other predators, they can produce a series of compounds that have been called phytochemicals, such as flavonoids, antiocyanins, and resveratrol, all of which would be anti-appetitive, meaning that they would not be tasty to a predatory species. In humans, phytochemicals can activate the body's reaction to cellular stress, conferring protective effects. This is known as xenohormesis. The protective effects of resveratrol are mediated through various cellular stress responses with the help of sirtuin-1 and other enzymes which can act as an anti-inflammatory, metabolic adapter and neuronal protector in the body. If you want to supplement with resveratrol, here's what to consider. Prefer transresveratrol to cisresveratrol because transresveratrol is more stable in providing its benefits. Adequate absorption of resveratrol is to take it during the first meal of the day with a moderate amount of fat. Resveratrol absorption is optimized when taken together with piperin, a compound found naturally in black pepper. The benefits occur primarily at the level of cerebral blood flow, thereby having a positive effect on cognitive function. Human experiments have shown that up to 5 grams of resveratrol per day can be tolerated without causing toxicity or significant side effects. At 2.5 grams or more, some people may experience stomach upset, nausea, or even diarrhea. So 600 milligrams up to 1 gram a day can be considered a safe dose. Resveratrol supplementation may interfere with the metabolism of other medications. People on statins, antiarrhythmic agents, and antihistaminics should consult their doctor before supplementing with resveratrol. In the content box of this video, you will find a complete article on resveratrol with more information about its benefits, supplementation, and the sources that corroborate this information. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe, pushing the red button, and activating the little bell every time there's something new to learn in nature's way, in the art to heal yourself. See you soon.